Uh, it's the old fellow back, or if you knew here, old Mr. B. I don't really where, know really where to start this one. Um, as you know, I react to things and, and everything else. Above my head, you can see. They're two... Um, no, singer in a band that I've got to, two copyright strikes for within four days of each other. Now, I get a third one, I lose my channel. Now, it's not a term... I mean, what annoys me about it is I do not make money from this. They've got copyrights and things like that, but obviously these people don't know this uh, because some channels out there are doing things wrongly and making money off, off the back of bands and things like that. Well, I'm not like that. That's not me. But anyway, so um, if I get a third copyright strike, that is the end of my channel. Now, the, the thing is, I then have to make a decision. Do I start all over again? And um, that, but I mean, you know, if, if this happens, do I start? I'm in two minds about that, to be perfectly honest with you, because I put a lot of time into this, a lot of effort and everything else. But, um, you know, I've, basically it's like this. It's the, the, the copyright strikes will last for 90 days, OK? Now, I've had copyright strikes before. I've had two before, but I'd only got four weeks to wait for one to go. That left me, so that wasn't so bad. But this is like 90, you know, to, you were looking at 94 days to get rid of both of them, right? And in three months is a long time to go without getting another one. I mean, blocked, fine. I, I, I'd sooner than just block them as, as anything else. Look, this is what, yeah, this is what it looks like. That's what you get. That's what you get. And, um, you know, not a lot you can say really, is it, when you get, when you get to, to a, two of them like that. Um, also, um, so the, the companies, the, the, the companies that, uh, well, the, the record company is uh, Nippon Columbia uh, Co Limited, right? Which is, which is fine. But so obviously I'm going to be steer clear of um, doing anything of uh, anything of theirs. Right, and the um, the the people that gave me the copyright strike is the Recording Industry Association of Japan, the RIAJ. Right, um, they've been around a long time. So if they think I'm uh, making money out of it, I'm not. So if somebody watches this from there, I'm not making money out of it. I'm really not. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it's happened to Rick Beato as well. He he got uh, copy, copyright strikes, but the way he got around it was he, he sort of shared what he did on, on Twitter and, and stuff and that. And it, the, the went, basically the went, uh, in a couple of days after. So I'm going to try and get this on Twitter and get it shared and hopefully they can see that, you know, if they if they go and check... The description that I put in it's all the informations about the bands and everything and links to the bands and and you know the copyright I don't put a copyright any 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 money my channel makes goes to the holder of the copyright not me 99.9% uh, .9 of my stuff is copyrighted so you know but I'm not in it for the money I'm in it for the bands I'm trying to get the bands noticed over this side of the world and um, it seems as though they don't want to but uh, but anyway there, there you go. There you go. Um, uh, not more I can say about it. I'll say if I do get the third one and I disappear, you know why. And then I've got to decide if I set up a, a new a new channel. I have got one, but uh, you know, ready to go just in case. But I'm in two minds, to be honest. But anyway, enough of that. I just like to thank everybody. Thank you so much for all your comments, your support, and everything else. And of course, please, please, please stay safe. And hopefully, and hopefully, this whole will be back. Bye for now. <laughs>